Hello everybody, it's Josie here. I thought I would do a little bit of a different video for you today. Um, for those of you that are a bit bored of reading Christmas books by now, I thought I would recommend some wonderfully queer books for you to read, but with a twist, their titles spell the word Christmas in them. So uh, if you get bored over the next couple of days and want to pick up something cool to read, why not try one of these books? So the first one I've got here for C is Crimson. Crimson is actually a translated work. It's set in Greenland, which is wonderfully unusual, and it follows a group of four friends, um, their life, their loves. It is very modern in writing, and it's also wonderfully queer. Then for H, I have got House of Impossible Beauties. This is inspired by the Real Life Extravaganza Club, and it's about a group of uh, gay and transgender drag kings in the night drag queens actually in the 1980s and early 90s um it also discusses issues like hiv it is incredibly poignant it is incredibly heartbreaking at times it will make you cry it will make you think and it's a beautifully written book for r i have Radio Silence. Radio Silence is about two friends, uh, Francis and Allard, and one of them has a podcast, the other one draws fan fiction for the podcast, and they meet, they become friends, and it talks about being who you are, discovering who you are, having the strength to be the person you want to be, and it's a beautiful commentary on friendship and the power of friendship as well. For I, I have into the drowning deep. So this one is about a group of researchers that go out to the Mariana Trench and essentially they discover mermaids, evil mermaids. So this is if you want something a little bit dark for your Christmas reading and it's fun and there's a mystery and you'll enjoy it. For S I have Saw Kill Girls. So this one is an urban fantasy and it's about uh, the island of Sawkill. Girls are going missing on this island and a family moves in and we discover what is happening to these girls. It is magical um, but also it has wonderful queer representation so we've got bisexual, uh, gay and asexual representation in this which is something that I haven't found that much of in YA and it's beautifully discussed right on the page in this book and I highly recommend it if that's something that you're looking for. And also if you're just looking for a fun urban fantasy, this is the one. For T, I have The Miseducation of Cameron Post. I adore this book. I adore this film. It is, again, it is beautiful. It will make you cry. It is about Cameron Post, who falls in love with one of her friends, her best friend, she is discovered with her friend and she is then set off to gay conversion camp. Um, and that is difficult to read, but again, poignant and is still happening out there in the world today, even though we're almost in 2019. Unbelievable. Uh, gorgeous book. Must read for anyone. Please, please pick this one up. For M, I have Marlena. Now, this is a story of friendship. It's set on the fringes of American society. Two 15-year-old girls. Um, they meet one summer, one is more of a wild child, the other one's more of a good girl, but it becomes an obsessive friendship and it becomes a love friendship. Um, and it also is very tragic, um, it is very gritty. I love it, it's my kind of book. But just be warned that it is quite gritty and is not going to leave you with a happy feeling, but is a very poignant and beautiful book to read. For A, I have Ash. So this is a, well, a queer retelling of the Cinderella story. So Ash falls in love, not with the prince in this one, but with the captain of the king's hunt. And she is a huntress. Um, it is a lot of fun. It is a young adult or even a little bit younger um, book. Uh, it is much lighter than some of the ones I've just mentioned, so if you just want something sweet and light and based on a fairy tale and a queer twist on that fairy tale, then Ash is definitely the one. And finally, for S, we have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Definitely one of my books of 2018. This is about Evelyn Hugo and she was a Hollywood starlet uh, in the golden age, so around the 50s and 60s, and she's telling her life story to a young reporter. And she talks about 
the seven husbands that she's had, but also who her real life love really was. And it is about this wonderful protagonist talking about her life story, but also about discovering who she is um, and finally being honest and open about who she actually is. Gorgeous book. Highly recommend it. So there you go. That is a queer Christmas recommendation for all of you out there that might enjoy them. Uh, again, have a wonderful Christmas. Eat loads of food, have lots of fun, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.